So we kick things off in the ring. This was a crazy one, ladies and gentlemen. Eight teams spread out across the building as you've seen the Young Bucks coming in. Third team starting this match all over this arena. The Stadium Stampede Tag Match. The Bucks would jump FTR from behind. Of course, Kingston would go straight for John Moxley as we jump around to Sting and Ortiz fighting over that ball bat. Darby being choked. Sting would get the upper hand right here. Ladies and gentlemen, this was all over the place. Look how he throws him into that dumpster back there. The Lucha Bros backdropped by Kevin Owens right onto that concrete back to the ring. Look at this. A power bomb and a suplex onto the ladders. FTR taking it to the Young Bucks. A little revenge. We're jumping all around back and forth as Kingston and Moxley would fight through the crowd. And returning backstage once again, Sting with that cookie tray to Ortiz's head. As soon as Danielson made his way to the back, Cassidy would jump in there. Tag teams were getting separated and everything in this match. Look what Owens would try to do right here. Well, not try to do. He was successful. He would run Penta over with that forklift, almost taking out his partner. At the same time, this was absolute chaos. Backstage, Moxley throws Kingston through those chairs in the locker room. They were all over this building. Watch these stereo super kicks by the Young Bucks to FTR. See a big suplex taking out that trash can. Ortiz in trouble here. Staying back this way. Sting and Santana fighting on top of that ladder. But look who's made their way all the way to the top here. Moxley and Kingston battling it out. And a chair shot would send Kingston over the edge onto the dumpster. This was absolute chaos. I don't think Kingston cared about the tag titles. He just wanted to fight Moxley. Back in the garage, Owens would power bomb Darby into that trash can. And you would see what would come next. Phoenix would be climbing up and he would push Owens over into the trash can as well. And as the other men were brawling down below, that would open it up for Ray Phoenix to hit this diving moonsault off the top of the forklift. Bodies were everywhere backstage. It was hard to keep on the action. Look at this sting with the superplex into the food catering area. Both men are down here. Like we said, we had multiple cameramen in multiple positions because they were fighting all over this stadium. Moxley taking out one of the bucks through the, I think the merchandise area. Look at this. Matt Jackson was being drowned in that toilet in the bathroom. Look at that big backdrop through the chairs. This action was everywhere. Back to the locker room, another power bomb. This time to Orange Cassidy, but a stereo to the back of the head of Owens. Ladies and gentlemen, these men were fighting all over this arena trying to become tag champions. Ray Phoenix and Nick Jackson pushed off of that ladder, but here's what it would come down to while everyone else was busy. Matt Jackson would get the shatter machine from FTR and the ref would see the opportunity to three FTR retain. Moxley almost broke it up, but Kingston so relentless staying on Moxley the whole match. It would be FTR that would walk away and somehow survive the stadium stampede. But the big news coming out of the weekend, Styles would explain that because of Finn Balor, the Judgment Day won't even speak to either one of them. So they had a plan, but Styles had a plan of his own. Instead of just taking out Cody and Brody King, Styles would also take out Finn Balor. He said it's time he goes on his own. Balor says he doesn't understand after everything they've been through, after so much time, why would Styles do this to him? They had a plan and he went back on it. Brody King would appear and say nobody feels sorry for Balor and they could work their problems out on their own time because he's coming for both of them for costing him the title. But Cody Rhodes would appear and say he's tired of the disrespect and sneak attacks. He wants to be a fighting champion. He says that a match has been made official, a fatal four-way match. Every man is gonna get a shot at his title. And ladies and gentlemen, it has been made official. Bash at the beach, fatal four-way for the TWFC Championship.